Hi. This is also my first time. You, you said you like stories about theft. I think you'll like this one. Uh, so this story starts, as many of these stories probably do, on a boring summer day in high school. Uh, my brother and I look at each other, you know, what do we do? What do high school kids do? We go to the mall. So we go to uh, this mall and we go into Tower Records with not a penny to our name. And I'm, I'm wandering around and I like, uh, I like jazz and blues, and, um, which is not your standard high school student's like cup of tea, right? So I'm rolling around the, the uh, jazz and blues section and I find a CD that I really like. And I uh, and the the plastic on the side is open, and I was like, you know what? I bet that I could slip this into my pocket, and nobody would know. Because like, there's one dude in the jazz and blues section, and he's like reading a biography on like Chet Baker or something <laughs> like that back there. And uh, so I do it, and uh, I slip it into my pocket. I feel pretty good about it, though. Not not the ethical side. Feel pretty good about my skill as a thief. I was like, you know what? That was some smooth execution. I very stealthily roll over to my brother and say, we're leaving right now. And, and he goes, why? What did you do? And I'm like, I, I saw something. And he's like, if you stole something, I'm stealing something. And so I was like, fine. Okay, I'll distract this guy. You go over and choose something to steal. Okay? And so my brother, my brother, not with my my prowess in thievery, I go and distract the guy. I'm like, listen, I can only talk jazz for, with this guy for so long. My brother chooses a few CDs, and we're both, you know, like high school students or whatever. He chooses uh, Nat King Cole, uh, James Taylor, and maybe like the Eagles or something like that. And so. Um, we both like, okay, it's done. And he sold three CDs. It took, must have taken like five, ten minutes. And um, so we go to leave the store, and I was like, you know, we should buy something so we don't look suspicious. So, so I buy, um, I actually bought an, uh, an Ann Andrews sister CD. Um, you know, the Andrews CD, okay. Um, so I buy this one CD, you know, with, with what little money I have. And I, uh, I'm walking out of the store, and it sort of like lets out into another store, and I think I'm being clever, like sneak through the same goody or whatever, or, you know, the Circuit City or whatever. So I'm like going through the Circuit City, and then suddenly a guy from around the corner goes, I think you have something that belongs to me. <laughs> Instantly, I whip it out of my pocket, and I'm like, here, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I've never done this before. I've, uh... <laughs> and he's like, okay. And he takes the CD and he puts it in his pocket. My brother's still in the store, like coming down the escalator. I could have been like, hey, don't come down here. We just got busted. And it didn't occur to me. So he comes down, he's got the CDs in his pocket. And they go like, get him! And then these two big dudes like come out of nowhere and like push him up against the glass and put him in handcuffs. And I was like, I saw something too. I, and I'm like, you know, this is my younger brother, like four years younger than me. I'm like, I'm a big dude. Like, you're demasculating me right now. <laughs> and so, and so, um, uh, they handcuff us and they take us into the back room. And these aren't the cops. And they sit us there and we wait for the cops, right? The cop shows up and he, like, thinks that we're the scum of the earth or something. They, they're like, all right, stand up, check their shoes for drugs. And I'm like, I took a CD. I'm not a felon or anything. Like, and they're, like, checking our shoes for drugs. And they're like, and my brother's one of those guys that actually, like, like, Hangs his pants kind of like low and doesn't wear a belt or anything. He's always like pulling them up and stuff like that. So we're handcuffed and the cop shows up. He's like stern face. Right? We start walking out. We start walking out of the uh, out of the out of the Tower Records. Right? And his pants are slowly falling off of his. And, and, and just right there, the, we're walking out. Right there, boom. Pants around the ankles. So the cop is like, oh geez, geez, how do I? And you know. Trying to avoid some sort of lawsuit. He's like trying to get his pants up. And he, he's in the door trying to get the, the pants. And I, I'm there helping him get well, all three of us. We get the pants up. We get in the car. And then he's like, why'd you do it? I'm like, I didn't. I, I mean, I obviously did it. And he's like, and, and he's like, they said you looked like a couple of pros. What was the deal there? I was like, I've never done this before. I mean, I'm not an idiot, you know? And then there was a pause, and I was like, well, I mean, I'm stupid enough to steal, but... 
I'm not stupid enough to do it dumbly. Uh, I don't know. And then so he's driving, he's still like the hard cop, you know, he's like, why, what this and that, the guy said, da da da. And, um, and that's it. he says, you know what you guys look like? Just instantly it changes to this nice guy. You look like those two brothers from that, that hockey movie from the 80s, you know that movie? It's hilarious. And then so we're like, no, slap shot, I think was the name of the movie. And uh, so we pull into the station, and then he, he gets out of the car, and he looks at us very intently and says, you guys stay here facing this wall. When I say, hey, guys, you turn around, okay? And then we, we hear him, like, truck off. And he's like, hey, Gonzalez, you know that hockey movie from the 80s? <laughs> and she goes, slap shot? And he's like, yeah, that's the one. Hey, guys. And then we turn around and look at him like, we are under arrest. <laughs> this is not like, my dad is on his way here right now. <laughs> this is not a laughing matter. Maybe in 20 minutes. Um, and, uh, and then my dad came and gave us a stern talking to and uh, drove me back to Tower Records where my car was. And, uh, and then we had a nice family dinner. <laughs> Thank you.